We bring you The Lost World of Dinosaurs, which existed 100 million years ago. A bone bed of dinosaur egg fossils have been found in the place where Koreaceratops fossils were first excavated. The pebbles, embedded in the soil, indicate that the layer was once a riverbank. Over 181 different kinds of dinosaur eggs were found in these layers. The discovery of dinosaur fossils in the area proved that Koreaceratops lived and laid its eggs in this area. What were the growth stages of Koreaceratops? These are fossils of baby Cytocosaurus, which are direct ancestors to Koreaceratops. Six specimens were buried together. Five of the dinosaurs were two years old, and one was three years old. They all seem to be related. Cytocosaurus grow slowly and then undergo a growth spurt when they turn six years old, after which they soon become adults. Gizzard stones have been found together with adult Cytocosaurus fossils. They fed on tough plants and coniferous tree cones. But no stones were found in the fossils of juvenile Koreaceratops because they mostly ate soft leaves that contained less fiber. Since adults had a different diet from juveniles, it is likely that the older juveniles looked after the younger ones. In the beginning, baby Ceratopians were cared for by their mothers, but when they became juveniles, an older juvenile looked after them. Having more experience, older juvenile dinosaurs knew where to find food. They knew where to find water. You can assume that the primitive Koreaceratops lived a similar life to this. Sam and the Koreaceratops he found lived together at his place. Sam is having a movie night and picked a dinosaur-themed movie. What are you thinking about? Do you want to go back home? But something unexpected happens. 
Max! Max! Calm down. That's right, we got chased by something similar to the T-Rex, didn't we? It's okay. What meat-eating dinosaur posed a threat to Korea Ceratops? This dinosaur lived in the same period as the Korea Ceratops. Acrocanthosaurus, a large carnivorous dinosaur, lived in the early Cretaceous period. Based on its size of its jaw, it looks like a ferocious predator. One hundred million years ago, large carnivorous dinosaurs inhabited the Korean peninsula. This nine centimeter long tooth of a meat-eating dinosaur was found in Hadong, Korea, proving the existence of Acrocanthosaurus. 그 정도 이빨의 크기를 가진 거대한 공룡들은 북방배에는 아크로캔토사우루스밖에 없거든요. 또 이빨 구조에 있어서도 어그 이빨의 그 톱니가 난 그런 형태나 그 크기가 그 아크로캔토사우루스와 굉장히 유사합니다. 그래서 아마도 어 아크로캔토사우루스와 비슷한 그룹의 그런 커다란 유식 공룡이 우리나라에 살았었던 것으로 생각이 됩니다. Acrocanthosaurus was a carnivorous dinosaur that was 10 meters long and weighed 5 tons. Like other meat-eating dinosaurs, Acrocanthosaurus possessed sharp eyes for detecting prey. Both of its eyes face forward, which limited its field of vision, but allowed it to estimate the distance of its prey. This is uh, very true on a big Tyrannosaurus rex skull where the eyes face directly forward and show that the animal had um, three-dimensional vision. And that allows it to be very precise when it's attacking something else. On the other hand, Korea ceratops had eyes positioned on the side of their heads, which allowed it to detect threats better. 초식 공룡들의 특징이죠. 눈이 옆으로 붙어 있는 거는 어, 그거는 많은 사주 경계를 하기 위해서 어, 그런 식으로 어, 뭐, 항상 뭐 준비를 하고 있어야 되니까 도망갈 준비를 하고 있어야 되니까. This characteristic is even seen among animals today. With eyes positioned on the side of their heads, they can easily see predators coming from any direction. Carnivorous animals assess how far the prey is and get as close as possible when catching a prey. Let's return to the world of dinosaurs. Even while tending to its young, Korea Ceratops keeps a careful watch of its surroundings. Sam will race some dinosaurs. Which one will be the fastest? Acrocanthosaurus is in lane one. Sam is ready in lane two.
and Coryoceratops waits in lane three. Acrocanthosaurus 1등, Coryoceratops 2등, 저는 3등. 근데 솔직히 Coryoceratops 같은 경우는 내가 봤을 때 그렇게 빠른 친구 아닌 것 같아요. 그리고 고기 안 먹다 보니까 원래 힘이 좀 약하지 않을까 생각하고 있어요. Will Sam's predictions turn out to be true? Korea Ceratops pulls ahead. Korea Ceratops is the winner. And Acrocanthosaurus is the runner-up. Sam is last. It's fortunate for Sam that this is a simulated race. Korea Ceratops reached a top speed of 50 kilometers per hour and ran the 100 meters in 7.19 seconds. How is Korea Ceratops able to run this fast? 발가락도 길고 그리고 발톱도 뾰족하고 그리고 발목도 어, 가늘면서 어, 좀 아래다리 뼈도 긴 그러니까 전형적으로 어, 이족 배가 나오면서 잘뛸수 있는 그런 다리 구조를 가지고 있는 거죠. There is an existing animal that has a similar leg structure to Korea ceratops. It's the ostrich. It can run as fast as 70 kilometers per hour. It also has a long shin bone and ankle. Its ankle joint is stable and strong for efficient propulsion. But not all ceratopsian dinosaurs fled from predators like Korea ceratops. Protoceratops appeared 20 million years after Korea ceratops and used its powerful parrot-like beak to attack. Cynoceratops, which came after Protoceratops, used its large horn to fight off carnivorous dinosaurs. How did Triceratops, the last line of Ceratopsian dinosaurs, fend off predators? Triceratops had a weapon for winning battles against Tyrannosaurus. Triceratops has these long horns over its eyes, and it's not going to let that Tyrannosaur get too close to it. It's going to want to keep it away, and probably it will back off. Unlike latter ceratopsian dinosaurs, Korea ceratops had few defenses. But it did have one defense against attacks.
숲에는 늘 위험이 도사리고 있습니다. 그날도 육식공룡을 발견한 나는 새끼를 숨겨놓고 달아나기 시작했죠. 다행히 육식공룡은 나를 쫓아오더군요. 나는 숲을 벗어나 뛰고 또 뛰었어요. 육식공룡의 날카로운 이빨이 내 몸통을 물어 뜯으려는 순간 나는 냅다 강물로 뛰어들었죠. 나는 꼬리를 이용해 헤엄을 칠수 있거든요. 맞아요. 꼬리가 바로 내 방어 무기입니다. 어때요? 내 꼬리 쓸만하지 않나요? 이 꼬리 구조를 보게 되면 위아래로 움직이기 어려운 구조거든요. 이 유라 스파인이 굉장히 길기 때문에 그렇게 되면 이게 꼬리가 위아래로 꺾이지는 않아요. 그러면 좌우로 밖에는 움직이지 못하는 구조거든요. 뼈 구조가. 물 수면을 헤엄쳐 나갈 때 아무래도 유리하겠죠. 이게 어쩜 노 역할을 하는 거니까 이 꼬리가. Taking a look at crocodiles can explain these mechanics. Crocodiles are agile swimmers thanks to their tails that act as paddles. Korea ceratops had a tail that probably performed similarly to a crocodile's tail. dating back 100 million years ago. Crocodile fossils were also found. There was also evidence showing that a pterosaur with a wingspan reaching 10 meters flew around Henam. The Phenopterus have a very unique tooth formation, so that the teeth is a sharp, but the bees are very, very strong. So it, it means, uh, there's one point said that Phenopterus eat clams. You know, it, 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 the clams very, very, with a very hard cell. They can use the strong teeth, broken clams. Cycad plants and ginkgos, which are coniferous trees, were common on the Korean peninsula millions of years ago. Sphenopsida and Pteridophyta are important classes of plants. The early stage is very warm and the temperature of the sun is very warm. It's a warm temperature. 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 